take a complex system, add one extra component to it, and in some cases the system then self-organizes a system-wide simple pattern. Here we shall show a toy model of the fascinating self-organization of a system-wide simple pattern of conscious brain activity, which results from taking 5-methoxy-NN-dimethyltryptamine, also known as 5-MeO-DMT. A simple model of a simple mental state. We use ferromagnetism as the illustration. As the full effect of 5-MeO-DMT kicks in, it erases all the complexity of being a person. It erases the self, the awareness of having a body, and even the knowledge that there exists a universe. The last thing to remain in conscious awareness is the emotional valence, which can dip into the very negative, but then progress into the extreme positive. This indicates that emotional valence is the most basic parameter of consciousness. If we let the Cheshire cat represent the full qualia range of everyday consciousness, the grin of the cat can represent valence. The electron spins that produce magnetic moments in various materials are usually not able to become coupled into larger domains of alignment. Iron, nickel, cobalt and gadolinium are exceptions which at room temperature do display this property. In our example, we start with pure cobalt, which is quite simply structured since it consists of a single type of atoms. A piece of cobalt metal is attracted to magnets. However, when mixed with tungsten and chromium, neither of which is ferromagnetic, the resulting alloy no longer adheres to a magnet. With half the cobalt atoms replaced by tungsten and chromium, the microscopic structure of the metal is now highly complex and long-range spin alignment is inhibited. This condition illustrates the way the sober waking brain generates conscious mind states. Information is tightly compartmentalized, bound but not homogenized, shaped to be that way by evolution for reasons of survival and fitness. Counterintuitively, when yet another non-ferromagnetic element is added to the cobalt tungsten chromium alloy, the ferromagnetism is restored. But not any element. The one that does the trick is carbon. Similar to how not just any molecule has consciousness homogenizing psychedelic effects on the brain. The one that does the trick is 5-MeO-DMT. On lower doses the effect is partial, just as with small quantities of carbon added to our alloy, the ferromagnetism does not reach full strength. The discovery of the psychedelic effect of 5-MeO-DMT was serendipitous. So was our discovery of this alloy. All that we initially set out to do was to create some novel jewelry.